Bernie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. <laughs> love, love and on you. Love and honour you. Honour you. For as long as I live. And for as long as I live. <laughs> I'm aware which one it is. I've had to say this for a while. <laughs> Just put your hand underneath and say these words. Jamie, I give you this ring. Jamie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. Love and honour you. Love and honour you. For as long as I live. As for as long as I live. <laughs> love and respect her, comfort her and care for her at all times. I do. And Bryony, will you take Jamie to be your <coughs> husband? Will you be honest with him and faithful and work with him to achieve the life you have planned together? I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. I'd like to take your daughter's left hand. Pop it over to Jamie. I'll do it. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> I, Jamie Worrell, take the Brian Lee Smith to be my wedded wife. I, Brian Lee Smith, take the Jamie Worrell to be my wedded husband. First things first, Bri, you look beautiful. Oh, when I first saw you today, you completely ruined my mascara, so thanks for that. She's also made me very proud, she's a fantastic mom. She's got a smile on her face 99% of her time and she's a trier. I look at you two and think keep on keeping on because you're doing fine. Ladies and gents, please raise your glasses. Get them, get them, get them, get them. To Bryony and Jamie, Mr. and Mrs. Worrell, here's to a marriage filled with <laughs> real love, true love, kindness, courage, you know, always a little magic. Bryony and Jamie.
round of applause first off just to say how amazing Ra looks, if we can all just... <laughs> I'm lucky at the fact that I couldn't choose one best man, I had to choose two. Uh, one being my brother, one being my mate that I've known for God knows how long, Lee and Si. I'm honoured for you both to say that you would be my best man and again, thank you for that. And on to my mum and dad. Uh, I never really see how I feel about them both, but I do really appreciate everything you do for us. Not just today, but every day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, I just want to thank you both, and all of you both, for everything you do for us both. Right, first of all, I'd like to kick off with a few words about Brian. For the last nine or ten years, you've been like a sister to me. You're a good mate of mine. A best mate to a shell and a fantastic godmother to both our kids. Even though we've had our differences over the years, we've always been there for each other. Today's death up there is one of the proudest days of my life and it's been a privilege to be a big part of your special day. I wish you both a life lifetime of happiness. I love you both more than you'll ever know. They say you don't marry the person you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. That sums up Jim and, Jim and Brian perfectly. Now if you'd all like to raise your glasses and join us in a toast, the new Mr. and Mrs. Bry. Last word! Seriously. I love seeing you with Penny. You're the easiest, the best mum I've ever seen. together, we've cried together, we've argued, we've kissed and we've made up, we've been on some of the best holidays and made some amazing memories and I can't wait to make more. I love you and again I can't get over how lucky I am. Can I just get everyone to uh, to raise the glass again for the most beautiful bride ever in yeah, yeah. Brainer? Yeah.